we had been hired by the National Security Agency to work on a decoding system in their top secret bunker. After three days, we had now finished the job. Lynn decided to go straight home. As for me, I had a late meeting at the city cemetery with one of the agency's agents. It was a foggy and cold fall evening. Not really that kind of evening I wanted to spend in a cemetery. I started to feel uncomfortable, as if the whole thing was a trap. I thought it would be a normal Thursday morning, when the phone rang. It turned out to be the agency. Philip Gunn had disappeared last night without a trace. I would have to use all my experience, as Philip Gunn's assistant, to investigate the disappearance. And a good place to start was his last known location, the city cemetery. Something has definitely happened here. Philip Gunn's hat, and tracks on the ground after someone was dragged away. Let's see where the tracks lead. Back in the office, I thought of the chance that Philip Gunn's wristwatch, somehow, got a fingerprint from the perpetrator.
What look? The watch had a blurred, but still clear fingerprint on it. Now I just have to wait and see if the search in the database would yield any results. The fingerprint matched a previously identified spy in the database, but there had never been enough evidence to convict him in the past. He used to operate from a dry cleaner downtown, which of course was just a cover. Time to nail him down then. been interrogated under pressure for information about the agency's decoding system. Since he hadn't revealed anything, one could be sure that the spy would return to try again. The only thing we could do was wait for him. The spy had been arrested, and handed over to the authorities. Lin had done a great job. I feel mentally beaten, but ready for new challenges. Case, Case closed. closed.